Someday, sometime, this is gonna come down to you and me. The way that Frank Castle was introduced in the Daredevil story, he was very much reeling from personal trauma, and I'm enormously grateful that I've the opportunity to go further into that story. Got a couple new faces in here today. If you want to talk, talk. If you just want to listen, that's all good too. My version of the Punisher is, is outside the Defenders timeline, so I think it's unique in that it's very much its own story. Holy shit. You don't know how to die, do you? When Daredevil, Frank just wanted to find the people that got to his family and killed them. You killed my family to get to me. We figured if there were enough dead bodies, nobody would really care to look close enough at any given one of them. <laughs> The journey we take him on is we reveal that there was a whole other level to the conspiracy. This is Operation Cerberus. We capture, interrogate, and execute high-value targets. We really are setting this in the world of the military. Sir, this looks like an ambush. Russo. I trust Frank's instincts, sir. Because of the type of war that he was fighting in Afghanistan, there is a real sense that Frank brought this upon his family. You're Frank Castle, right? Frank Castle, the dead man. You are not the only ghost in this town, Frank. So when we find Michael in the beginning of the first episode, he's like a deeply, deeply paranoid man who has spent months and months and months trying to find Frank Castle and reaching out to him because he feels like they have some common enemies. You and me, we want the same thing right now. So work with me. Micro is unbelievably smart. He's got his own desperate, tragic situation. Your family's dead. Anyone that ever looked at you sideways, they're dead, and you just keep on going. You're a psychopath. They don't realize it, but they're both uh, longing and in despair because of uh, the loss or the absence of their family. This goes deep, Rafi. CIA, NSA, us, maybe even DOD. Dina wants to find the truth. Who is Frank? And is he the man that people have been telling me he is? So, what have you got for me? If he's alive, he knows I'm looking for him, and he'll reach out. She knows that Billy Russo was with Frank Castle stationed in Afghanistan. So, she's finding every way that she can to get to Frank. Here at Anvil, you will have the opportunity to fight for a living. Betrayal is a big, big sort of theme of the season. The only real friend that I ever had wants to take away everything that I've worked so hard for all these years. Billy is very confident in his own capabilities and the strength to achieve anything. If anything was going to be worth something to him, it would be, it would be his friendship with Frank, but it's not. Because nothing is. Which I think ultimately will make the betrayal all the more messed up. There's no one on this green earth that I'm worried about going against. I'm gonna kill you, Bill. I'm gonna watch you die. Frank doesn't wear a cape. He can't become invisible, and there's no quit in him. Frank has strength and tenacity and power. Frank Castle will never back down. But damn, Frankie. I love to watch you work. He just willingly entered into this world of darkness. Just go, fight, just die trying. Ah! Ah!